organizing mail. Email can quickly get out of control if you're receiving dozens of emails per day. You may want to save some of these emails, but you don't want to save them all in your inbox or in another folder. Instead, you may want to organize them by sender or by the nature of the email. For example, you may want all receipts for online purchases organized into a single folder. In this lesson, we're going to talk about organizing and manage your email in Outlook 2013. If you save a lot of emails in Outlook, rather than deleting them after reading, you may want to arrange them into folders. By creating folders, you could save all emails from Tom, for example, to a folder named Tom. You could also save all emails from Jane to a folder titled Jane, and so on. To create a mail folder, go to the Mail module, select the email address for which you want to create a new folder. Click on it to select it, and then right click, as you can see here. Select New Folder. Type a name for the new folder in the box, and press Enter. You can see the new folder in the folder list. To move the folder up or down the list, select it and then drag and drop it to where you want it to be stored. We want to move it to below Sent Items. As you drag, a black line will appear that is highlighted in dark grey. Make sure the black line appears below the folder where you want your new folder to appear. To move an email message from your inbox to another location or folder, click on the email that you want to move to select it in the inbox. Now right click on it and select move from the drop down list. When you click on move, another menu will appear to the right. You can then choose to move it to an email folder or another folder or email account in Outlook. You can also choose to have all messages in the conversation moved. Deleting emails in Outlook 2013 is easy. You can empty a whole folder of emails, delete every email in your inbox, or delete individual emails. To delete all the emails in an email folder or your inbox, click on the email folder, in this case, the inbox. Right click and then select delete all. To delete a single email, click on the message in information viewer to select it. Right click on the message and select delete from the drop down menu. You can also select the message and then hover your mouse over it in the information viewer. A grey X will appear on the right of the message. Click on the X to delete the email. If you have an email message opened, you can open the message tab and then click on the delete button to also delete the message. If you have a lot of emails in Outlook 2013, it can get hard to find an email that you need. If you know who sent the email or the subject line, you can use the search box at the top of the information viewer. Search current mailbox is shown by default, but you can use the download arrow on the far right to narrow or expand your search. But if you're not sure of any of this, it can make it almost impossible to find the email you're looking for. However, don't despair. You can use the sort feature of Outlook 2013 to find the email you need using parameters that you specify. To sort emails, first select the folder you want to sort. Then click the View tab. In the Arrangement group, there are different options you can select to sort your emails. Choose an option to sort the emails. You can then click the Reverse Sort in the Arrangement category to view emails in alphabetical order. You can click Columns to add more information about the emails you've sorted. Your sort results appear in the information viewer. Use the sort parameters that will help you find the message you're looking for in Outlook. We just mentioned instant search briefly when we showed you how to type information about an email into the search bar. Now let's learn more about it. To start, select a folder in Outlook that you want to search. Now enter keywords to start searching in the box above your inbox. Keywords could be the sender, the date, the subject. These keywords can be as vague or as exact as you want. We're going to learn how to refine the results too. You'll then see all the search results that contain the keywords you entered. As you type in your keyword, you'll see a drop down box that allows you to search by keyword, subject, etc. You can move your mouse down to select one of these options for your search. For example, you can search by keyword, which will find all emails in the current mailbox to locate that keyword no matter where it's at. Or you can just search by the subject line for the words you enter into the box. If we choose to search by sender and entered in the word example, this is what would appear in our search box. Let's enter the word example. No results have been shown. I can try a different word that I know is in one of my messages. Our search results are highlighted in yellow, but Outlook doesn't stop there. Now you can refine your results. The search tab is now displayed on the ribbon. Now you can further filter your search results using the options in this ribbon. For example, if you want to search for attachments, click Has Attachments in the Refine group. 
You can also choose other options in the Refine group to further refine your search. Click From in the Refine group to search for emails from a particular person. Click More to see even more options to refine your search. We can do Advanced Find by going to the Search ribbon and clicking on Search Tools in the Options group, and then select Advanced Find. You can use this to enter in all sorts of search options. You can easily navigate through the tabs in this window and enter different criteria. Everything in this window is self-explanatory and simple to use. All you do is enter the information that you know regarding the email you're looking for. Outlook 2013 does the rest. You can also establish rules that tell Outlook how to deal with an email. For instance, you may have a colleague with whom you share an informal correspondence and you may not want Outlook to send an automatic reply to him or her. Let's look at how to do that. Go to the File tab. Click Info on the left, then click on the Manage Rules and Alerts button. This window will appear. Click on the New Rule under the Email Rules tab. The first step is to choose a rule that you want to apply. There are some preset rules or you can create your own. We're going to use Move Messages from Someone to a Folder in the Stay Organised section. Now we go down to Step 2, where we can edit the rule description. This is where we tell Outlook how to apply the rule. Click on the hyperlinks in Step 2 to do this, starting with the People or Public group. We're going to choose to send emails from a certain person to a group or folder we'll specify later. As you can see, we are taken to our address book. If we want to select more than one contact, hold the control button down while making selections. Click OK when you're finished. Now we're back to this dialog box. Now we can click on the hyperlink that says Specified at the bottom. This is where we'll specify the folder to move the messages into. Click on the link, specify the folder, and then click OK. Click Finish when you're done creating the rules. If you want to add more conditions to the rule to further refine the rule itself, click Next. Again, click Finish when you're done creating the rules. Click OK, then click on the arrow in the corner to return to Outlook. The Categories is a new feature that was introduced in Outlook 2010. It's basically like flagging an email, but in a way that is meaningful to you. For instance, let's say that you get an email from a client seeking a certain kind of information, but before you can release that information, you have to discuss it with your boss. So instead of just flagging the email for follow-up, which certainly doesn't give you any information other than you have to answer to the email, you can categorize it with a special tag. So the next time that you open Outlook, you'll see the tag and be reminded that you must discuss it with your boss. The Categorize button can be found in the Home tab of the ribbon in the Tags group. To categorize an email, you must select it, then click on the Categorize button. You'll see a drop-down menu. Select a color. If it's the first time you've applied this particular category, you'll see this window. From this window, you can customize the name of the category. For instance, you may want to call it Check with Boss. You can also select another color and even create a shortcut key. When you're finished, click Yes. You can see on the message here that it's been colored the color you select and also has the name. As you can see here, any email that has been categorized also has a colored box next to it. Another thing you might notice is that when you arrange the emails by categories, Outlook 2013 sorts the emails in their respective categories. You can also use categories for notes and tasks, which you'll learn about later in this course. Using filters is just another tool Outlook 2013 gives you to help you sort through your email. To find the filter email command, Navigate to the Home tab and locate the Filter Email button in the Find group on the right. When you click on it, a drop-down menu appears. Select how you want to filter your messages. And your display will be updated.